In this video tutorial, uh, we will learn next spatial, special formulas in algebra. Uh, the visibility of this binomial, this polynomial, uh, by x plus a. In particular, we will learn that in general case, xn minus an can be uh, divisible by polynomial or binomial x plus a and resulting uh, quotient after division will be this. So we have a very nice formula. This formula is um, very um, useful in algebra. So watch us further. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able uh, to prove this formula and use it. Like us and subscribe and let's get started. Uh, so first of all, from previous tutorial, we know that uh, for polynomial p of x, uh, x to the power m minus a to the power n, this polynomial is divisible, is divisible by x minus a. Uh, because using Bezu theorem, p of a is equal to a to the power m minus a to the power m, which is zero. And remainder, after division of this polynomial by uh, this polynomial, to, by, by this polynomial, will be zero. And uh, that's why uh, this polynomial divide our polynomial exactly. So we have we had nice formula when x x to the power m minus a to the power m is equal to x minus a times something. And here we had a polynomial of degree uh, polynomial of degree m minus 1. And the same works when instead uh, x minus a, we assume uh, x plus a. So we have a natural uh, question. Natural question is uh, is polynomial p of x, which is x to the power m minus a to the power m, divisible, is divisible by x plus a, not minus, but x plus a. Answer is yes, but for, for even but for even, even number n, or sorry, even number m. Uh, in this case, in, in mathematics, we write that m is equal to 2 times some number, some integer number k. So if our number m is even and can be represented as 2 times some number some integer number k. In this case, um, our polynomial is divisible by x plus a. Why? Because again, using Bezu's theorem, p uh, of x, when x is equal to minus a, because here, because here, x plus a can be represented as x minus minus a. And uh, we already know how to use Bezu, Bezu theorem. If you don't know this theorem, watch our previous tutorials. If you don't understand anything in our tutorial, watch uh, the, uh, our previous tutorials, all the playlists, because our playlist is uh, done in this way that if you want to understand one tutorial, 
you have to know our previous tutorials. And if you watch our playlist from the beginning until the end, you will have a very deep understanding of algebra. In this case, uh, when we uh, put instead of x number minus a, we will have minus a to the power m minus a to the power m. In this case here, look at this minus a to the power m. This is equal to, it has two cases when m is even and can be represented as 2k. We know that even numbers are divisible by 2. These numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So m has a representation 2k. In this case, in this case, um, minus m to the power, minus a to the power m is equal to a to the power m. And when m is not represented as 2 times k, uh, this is minus a to the power m. Uh, that's why this is equal when m is even. That's why when our m is even, in this case, uh, divisibility is valid and remainder will be zero. And uh, we have a special formula in this case. Uh, assume our n is 2 or our m is 2, it doesn't matter. Assume, uh, let's use number, let's use letter n. In this case, x squared minus a squared, as we know previously, we have a representation x minus a times x plus a. And this is divisible, is divisible by x plus a. When n is equal to 4, in this case, x squared minus a squared can be represented again using um, shortcut multiplication formula. Watch our previous tutorials is equal to, sorry, here we have x to the power 4 minus a to the power 4. This is x squared minus a squared times x squared plus a squared. And since, in this case, the first brackets can be represented as x minus a times x plus a, in this case, um, our polynomial is divisible by x plus a. So our pol polynomial is divisible by x plus a. And uh, let's write it further. This is equal to x plus a times x minus a times x squared plus a squared. And if we multiply these two brackets, this will be some polynomial, write it q of x, and degree, and degree of this polynomial must be 3, because we're multiplying two polynomials one polynomial with uh, degree 1 times the second polynomial with degree 2. And of course, here we're dividing the polynomial of degree 4, dividing by the polynomial of degree 1. And the resulting polynomial will be the polynomial with degree 3. Um, we can use manual division for polynomials, but the general, uh, general, rule is that 
uh, x to the power 4 minus a to the power 4 is divisible by x plus a. That's why we have a representation x plus a times and quotient or result of the division will be polynomial of with, with degree 3. It will be x 3 x to the power 3. Uh, next member will be a x2. So degree of a is increasing and degree of x is decreasing. Next member will be a squared x and next member will be a to the power 3 and x to the power 0 which is 1. Uh, next we have to write uh, First we write minus, then plus, then minus. And next let's write for n which is 6 and we have x to the power 6 minus a to the power 6 is divisible by x plus a. That's why it can be represented as x plus a times some polynomial of degree 5. And this polynomial is written as x to the power 5, next member will be a and x to the power 4. Next we decrease uh, the power of a, it will be a squared and increase and decrease uh, the power of x, it will be x to the power 3. Next we increase a, power of a, it will be a to the power 3 and decrease the power of x, it will be a squared. Um, next element is a to the power 4, x, and next will be a to the power 5, and we don't write x to the power 0, which is 1. Uh, and we write first minus, then plus, minus, then plus, and then minus. So uh, this is our special uh, algebraic formula and uh, how this formula is can be read uh, can be read uh, this polynomial is divisible by this polynomial that's why we have a representation this representation and result of this division or quotient is this this quotient can be found using uh, simple uh, manual division or it's also called long division of polynomials but um, I, uh, I'm i showing here uh, for you how to write this formula um, how, to, how to remember this formula next uh, we have to notice that our polynomial x to the power n minus a to the power n uh, for even n or when n is equal to 2 times k is divisible is divisible by x minus a as we know from previous tutorials and and x plus a so our polynomial is divisible by x minus a and x pl plus a. That's why our polynomial is divisible by x minus a times x plus a, which is x squared minus a squared. And if we again um, use manual multiplication and Bezu theorem, not Bezu theorem, but simple multiplication, because Bezu theorem works only for when we divide by monomial of uh, degree one. Here we have monomial of degree um, two. That's why that's why Bezu theorem is not it's not used. We just uh, have a notice here. That's why for n. For n4, for example, we have 
x to the power 4 minus a to the power 4 can be represented as x squared minus a squared times x squared plus a squared. And that's why uh, this, our polynomial, is divisible by x squared minus a squared. Uh, assume n is equal to 6. In this case, x to the power 6 minus a to the power 6 um, is divisible by x squared minus a squared. That's why it has a representation x squared minus a, a squared. Now we can use simple long division of polynomials and quotient or result of this division can be uh, found. It will be x to the power 4. Of course, uh, here we will have a quotient with degree 4 because we are dividing the polynomial of degree 6 by polynomial of degree 2. And result will be some polynomial of degree 4. It will be x to the power 4 plus. We always have plus here. Um, you can divide it manually. Uh, plus, we de decrease, we increase the power of a by 2 times x, and we de decrease the power of x by 2. Next, we again increase power of a by 2 and decrease power of x by 2. It will be x to the power 0, which is 1. So this is this is formula for n, which is 6. Let's uh, at last write our form formula for n, uh, which is 8, and write x to the power 8 minus a to the power 8. Uh, this polynomial is divisible by x squared minus a squared. And result of this division x is x to the power 6 plus a squared x to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 x squared plus a to the power 6. And general case is x to the power n minus a to the power n and of course n is even this is divisible by x squared minus a squared and we have a representation here we have x to the power n minus 2 plus a squared x to the power n minus 4 plus a to the power 4 times x to the power n minus 6 plus etc plus n plus sorry a to the power n minus 2 and here we have x to the power 0 which is 1. So this is general uh, formula for um, our representation. It was everything for today. Uh, thank you very much and like us and subscribe. Have a great day.